Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we're going to take a look at 80s Overdrive. It's on Steam. It's like a retro racing game. If you liked Rad Racer or Outrun back in the day, you would really enjoy this game, I think. It's a lot of fun. We did it. Uh, we did a good job on it. Here's the map. Uh, so you're going to choose a car. You have, I think, six. You have six to choose from. So they're not licensed, so the names are like, you know, Intruder, Delone, Aggressor. <laughs> Stuff like that was, you know, it's a Porsche, Ferrari, Lamborghini, and I think another Lamborghini. Or a Tenzor V12. So, we're going to take the Ferrari. And then you have your upgrades you can do up there. Repair, you have to refuel. So you do have to win races. Make sure your money is up so you can repair your car, refuel it, and of course upgrade it. You can also paint the car. So just enough options, I think. Nothing crazy. And we're gonna just probably go do the first race. You have your standings here. So yeah, we'll do. Well, not the first race because there's no police. So we're gonna go. You have like a power glove there. <laughs> so he did a good job on this game. Yeah, it's it's very fun. So. Yeah, stars new, greens won, blues raced, red is locked. So this is the first race where you start at. So it's pretty easy. You'll see uh, traffic very low, police none, opponents you know half star. You get a little bit of money. But I do want to show the police because they're very annoying. <laughs> so yeah, what they usually try to do, they pass your car and then break in front of it. So you ram into them, just take a lot of damage, and slow down, and of course, if you get slowed down too much, they, uh, they catch you. We got a lot of cool music to choose from, you have 18 tracks. So this is a couple. Go ahead and get started. So it's old school gameplay, where it's like an A button to go instead of, a, instead of the triggers. I'm sure you might be able to change that in settings, but I just kept it that way. So it looks great. So the colors really pop. Has a good sense of speed. You have um, two nitros per race. So the controls really solid. So definitely, yeah, it's a lot of fun. So there goes the police. He's going to try to. So, Pass in front and then break. <laughs> so they always catch you. I guess because they're Lamborghinis, so they're going to catch you. Uh, there's a turbo. And hopefully, yeah, okay. So we're going to lose them after that second time. Uh, down on the lower left, you can change the, the music tracks. So I'm going to raise your speed, and um, what's blinking there is your nitro. Upper left, it's all like sprints, no laps, from what I can tell. So I've been through quite a few races. It's all been a sprint race, so point to point. Which is fine, I actually like that better. And then your damage is on the uh, upper right hand, and your fuel. And so uh, the old track design of those lines coming at you really fast, like in a like outrun. So if you do enjoy this game, I think you'll really like this. It's 10 bucks, 9.99 regular. I did catch it on sale. I, I think it might be actually worth the full price. Um, yeah, for 10 bucks, I wouldn't be disappointed. I would give this game like an 8 out of 10. Uh, the only two, you know, knock off a couple points is like when you get hung up a little bit, the damage can get out of hand. Like if you get stuck on a car or if you like ram it on the side, that can be a little annoying. A very fun game. It, uh, it hits the mark it's going for, I think, in 80s Overdrive. So, I would recommend it. Yep, Steam. I don't know. I don't think it's on consoles. On any of the stores. It may be, I don't know. 
So it would be something you have to check out. But here's the Easy Overdrive. Here's the settings. You know, your podium placement, your money on the right hand side. Your repair, what it costs. And the standings. And your career map. Uh, thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.